TV title. Well, Strangler Nick Maddox has held that belt for quite a while now. He's pretty much an unbeatable champion. He's a great force inside that ring. But Hakeem the Sultan has been harnessing and tweaking and working on that finishing hold. I know you're high on it. What does he call it? Yes, that Desert Storm. Desert Storm. For the layperson, it's a you know, camel clutch. It's the form of a, uh, a dragon sleeper of sorts. And I, if he can slap it on Maddox, we might see a title change. Hakeem getting the feel of the belt as he had it in his clutches there for just a moment. And I'm sure he would love to take permanent possession of it. And yeah, that may be foreshadowing of things to come, or maybe it was just a mere fluke. Maybe that's as close as we'll ever get to the gold. We shall see in a few moments the bell has just rung. Titles on the line. Champion versus challenger. Oh, and this is the stuff Maddox, that I like, Paduski. Maddox laying <laughs> a bad mouth on the Sultan. Maddox, you're the champion. Put the challenger in his place. He's got to beat you. Both men. Whoa! A collision course was set, and Akeem the Sultan came out on top. Oh, Akeem the Sultan was really pleased with himself. They had a genuine smile on his face. And I'll say it. You look at the side of these two guys, they look about evenly matched in terms of, you know, physicality. And there's that familiar battle cry by the challenger. The Sultan trying to assert some dominance here early, early in the match. And Maddox ducks him that time, comes back oh. with a crossbody. And a drop kick takes the big man down once again, and Akeem rolls to the outside. Okay, Paduski, while we have a little time out here, let's, talk, let's refer back to the history of wrestling. Let's talk about some of those Middle Eastern wrestlers that we've seen some, through the years. What are some of the trademarks? Let's talk about those curled boots. Curled Always boots. see that. But it Rough and tough, camel clutches. Absolutely, the suplex style wrestling. Always a strong amateur background. Hakeem also, the Sultan, no exception. What's that? Also characterized by a, uh, a definite knowledge of submission moves. Always, always. Inflicting lots of punishment. Yeah, Middle and Eastern right now, torture. Middle Eastern torture. Middle Eastern torture techniques. Yes. Hakeem the Sultan now. What's he got on Maddox? He's got some kind of a... Did he give him that thumb to the throat? I couldn't see it. That's another trademark of the Middle East wrestlers is, is deception. Yes. Softening up that throat region for those curled boots. Not to exactly, not to mention those. Those curled boots, curled toed boots, which half the time are loaded. And now Maddox laying a chops in on the Sultan and a blatant chokehold in the corner. Both of these guys 
rough and tough. You know, usually in a wrestling yes, match, yes. you'll have a, a good guy against a bad guy, but these two guys just both yes, rough yes. and tough you know, We talk about the characteristics of the Middle Eastern wrestlers. You know, Kuduski's, it's interesting. Every continent has its own little style. Maddox, typical American wrestler, a, a bruiser, a brawler. You know, really likes to just get in there, nothing fancy, just, just win, baby, like the old Oakland Raiders. That's right. The Sultan now taking it on the chin. Maddox just lines, lining him up, hitting him with the right hands. The ring shifted on that, and Maddox got it. caught coming in. And a bulldog by the Sultan. Oh, that's a 350 pound bulldog. And there. you see that big man move. Yes. Yeah, he may be carrying some extra weight, but the man still does have his agility. It's unbelievable. Make a wish, and he drops a headbutt. Yes. Call it Stevie B, I don't know. I'm gonna say the lower abdominal. And look at this, a claw hold right there. The crotch claw. The crotch claw. Oh my goodness. That's a movie you just don't see in the U.S. The uh, deadliest claw hold of all, and now and I don't know what, what is going on. I don't know what to call that. Quite frankly, I'd rather see uh, Miss Asia apply that finishing hold. The Sultan now, a thrust to the throat of Nick Maddox. Maddox better get a rally going here soon because yes. the Sultan can take over at any time. Right now, he's in control. Loading that boot. Oh. And there it is. No. Oh, it backfired. Maddox Spencer got his on the ropes. And that's oh, all it takes. it. Maddox with a surprise. Boom. Stevie B, that totally surprised yes. me. There's a lot more to Produsky than Strangler breaking the rules of the speed of the ropes. He had the presence of mind to get out of the way of that loaded boot. Big time move there by the champ. Unbelievable. Oh, the Sajan now in the ring. And she doesn't seem too happy with Akeem the Sultan. And she slapped him across the face. I don't think she wants to do that. And apparently she has got she has got Akeem the Sultan under control. Oh, Look at this EBB. Akeem the Sultan. He made a good showing there, Pete. You gotta call it. He made a good showing. He'll get another title shot down the road. Maybe someday the gold will be around his waist.